Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture number 16. So, we have been working with the uh, orbital elements, classical orbital elements. So, this time, uh, so what we did that given the initial position and velocity vector, so from there we derived the orbital parameters. So, right now uh, we do the inverse problem means given the orbital parameters, find the um, velocity and position of the satellite. Okay. After that, we will take up some problems. So, we start with, so given A, E, I, capital omega, small omega and theta, find x, y, z and x dot, y dot, z dot. So, if you see here, for Keplerian orbit, or rather than using this word, I will use here, later on I will introduce this word for an orbit where orbit does not change except true anomaly is called Keplerian orbit. So, we are working for that. So, uh, does not change except true anomaly that is a E i capital omega small omega r constants. Except the true anomaly and that is it is an constant and theta equal to theta t. It is a function of time. Finding R and V at T is the current objective. So, here when does this happen? the orbit does not change when the motion is not perturbed by other planetary system. So, say in the case of the here this is sun and we are taking in the orbit the earth. So, what we are assuming that there is no other planet. So, only the sun and the earth motion will be considered. So, in that case if other planets are absent, absent then these quantities are going to be constant and only the theta the true anomaly which is defined by position of the earth along this is theta at different instant of time okay. along the trajectory. So, this we call as the orbit. So, our current objective is to find out x y z x dot y dot z dot.
Okay, so as per our uh, earlier figure, this is the satellite orbit shown with respect to the uh, inertial x y plane. Okay, and inclination is shown with respect to the inertial z axis. So, we have here this is the earth. and around the earth the satellite is going on it is a moving. So, satellite is moving in this orbit so I can fix a plane centered at this point ok and that plane is a here this is your equator if you call it the equatorial plane of the earth. So, x y z plane as earlier I have stated it does not coincide with the equatorial plane it is a little different ok. So, it can be shown like that it is a little differing it is not exactly the same and it is a complete domain in itself in astronomy where uh, how the orientation is fixed and how to represent the rotation of the earth with respect to this inertial plane everything is uh, everything is derived there. Okay. So, right now we are not concerned with this because we are more concerned with the engineering aspects later on while we take the frame uh, reference frame. So, at that time we will discuss to some little extent. So, uh, O m is perpendicular to O n small omega or we can write angle P O n this equal to small omega and uh, S O P equal to theta and angle M O n this is 90 degree. So, these are the things given to us and this is the radius vector initial and velocity vector v. So, what is given here that a e i capital omega small omega and theta. So, all these things are given i is that means, this is given, this is given, this is given then A and E they are purely the property of the ellipse or whatever it may be uh, the orbit I is shown already there this is your nodal angle. So, this is capital omega this is the nodal angle argument of perigee is shown here and theta is also shown. So, given this find out this x y z and x dot y dot z dot. So, this is our objective. So, here this is our r vector. So, we start by taking components of r along the x, y and z axis. So, if we do this, if we are able to find out components of r along the x, y and z axis. So, the, let us say we indicated by x e 1 cap plus y e 2 cap and plus z e 3 cap. So, obviously, x will be a function of all these orbital elements ok. Similarly, y will be a function of and similarly, z will be a function of ok. So, once we get it here in this format so after getting this x y and g. So, we are getting x as a function of all other elements similarly y as a function of all other elements uh, all the elements and z as a function of let us say this notation will change. We write 
write this as a function of p all other elements. So, once we differentiate this x dot this is the basic principle I am just now writing here. So, this implies x dot will be uh, so on the right hand side you have to differentiate. So, once we get this so immediately this will be available to us y dot will be d y d t and z dot will be d y d t some other quantities. And we know that because a e i capital omega small omega these are constants constants. So, we will utilize the property that a dot equal to 0 it is not changing e dot equal to 0 i dot this is i dot okay. this equal to 0 and capital omega dot this will be equal to 0 and a small omega dot this will be equal to 0. So, this equation once we take the derivative this will get pretty simplified. So, this is our approach. So, first of us let us start with finding the x y and z. Okay, so, this is our i have the r vector here this is the r vector this r vector we need to break along different lines. So, first of all we will break r along two directions along the o m and o n prime as in this figure it is appearing and thereafter this vector the r component. So, first r we are going to divide it along the o n prime and the other one along the o m and then this o m this will be broken in two direction one along the o z direction and another along the o m prime direction. Now, o m prime then it will be broken along the x y and z axis. So, this will be broken along x and y axis ok z axis because it is already in the x y plane. So, along the z axis there is no component. So, o n prime similarly o n prime here what we are getting ok. So, this will have component along the x axis and another component along y axis. So, we will have two component two components one along x axis another along the y axis because it is a o n prime it is a lying in the x y plane. So, this is the principle we are going to utilize ok. So, r first we divide along the o n prime and another one we divide along as told this is along the o m direction and thereafter the o n prime we write the. So, o n prime this component will be going back here o n prime. So, you can see that this will depend on this angle angle from this place to this place okay. and this angle is 180 minus omega plus theta. What I have shown here by this black line. Okay. So, this is the corresponding angle. So, we write here then O n prime equal to r cos 180 minus omega plus theta. So, this gets reduced to r cos omega plus theta with minus sign. So, we have this whole structure and then we have to keep breaking it up one by one and along the o m Similarly, we go back along the o m direction. 
So, you can see this angle is omega plus theta minus 90. So, angle is O m this equal to omega plus theta minus 90 degree and this angle is angle S O n prime or n prime O s whatever you write. Here this is m and here this is n prime. So, uh, therefore, this component along this direction then becomes omega plus theta minus 90 r cos omega plus theta minus 90. So, th this will be r sin omega plus theta. So, we have got these two components. Now, as told earlier this O n prime has to be broken along different directions. So, this is one of them I will not cluster in one place. The next we take O m and this O m then we have to break along two directions. O m now will be breaking along two direction which is O m prime and O z. O m prime and O z direction. So, O m prime this quantity will be O m cos i because i is the angle between this is your O m and this plane is the x y plane and this angle is i and here is your line m prime. So, m O m prime becomes O m cos i and O m is r sin omega plus theta times cos i and similarly O z this will be O m times z is here in this direction. So, that becomes O m times sin i r sin omega plus theta and sin i. So, what we are getting here uh, this O m prime and O z prime. Now, we take O m prime and this again we have to break along two direction along the O x direction and along the O y direction because if we look back O m prime is lying in the x y plane. So, we can have the component here okay, along the x direction and y direction. So, now what are the angles this angle we have to look into. So, O m prime. So, m prime O and n what this angle is this angle is 90 degree and we are looking for the angle between y m prime o y how much this will be. Okay. So, if this has see uh, this angle already we have plotted uh, I will uh, show it here again in another figure that will be better. here I will make the figure. Once we go in this plane, so this is your x direction, this is y direction. Okay. this is n prime this is n here in mid between o we have written here. 
so this angle we have shown as capital omega okay these two are perpendicular so if one this x y axis is rotated by capital omega so this axis also this goes here by capital omega and this becomes m prime so this angle already we have written the angle m prime o n this equal to 90 degree so the angle right now we are looking for is this angle the angle between m prime o and y so angle so angle m prime o y this is capital omega from this place and angle m prime o x that becomes 90 plus capital omega so utilize this for breaking it to two components along the o x direction so this along the o x then it becomes breaking it along the o x direction so that component will come out to be r sin omega plus theta cos i this component here okay and then you are breaking it along the o x direction so we have to take cos 90 plus capital omega so that gives you minus r sin omega plus theta cos i plus sin capital omega similarly the oy will be r sin omega plus theta cos i times cos capital omega okay so we have we are done with this component is broken along the two direction now what is remaining the oget component will not have any component along the in the xy plane so this we do not have to worry about okay. so this we are done with now we take the on prime so on prime this will have components along the ox direction and the oy direction so going here in this place this is o is here this is o and n prime is here okay so breaking along the ox direction we get here o n prime equal to minus r cos omega plus theta and so this is the component along the on prime so this component we have to take one component along this direction another component along this direction so this angle is 90 degree here so angle n prime oy this equal to 90 plus capital omega okay and angle from this place this is 180 now this angle is capital omega so this angle is also capital omega from here to here and this whole angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so how much this angle becomes n prime o x this equal to 180 plus capital omega so we accordingly break it along the ox and oy direction so we have this part already here so minus r cos omega plus theta and uh, taking along the ox direction so the cos 180 plus capital omega and this will yield us so 
cos 80 plus 180 plus capital omega. So, that gives us minus r ok minus r cos omega plus theta and this one. So, here if you look into you can also look it from this perspective that the angle is from this place to this place. Okay. So, if this is capital omega, so this angle will be 90 minus capital omega and this angle is from here to here this is 90 degree. Okay. So, that becomes 180 minus capital omega. So, directly O n prime this component you can take along the O x direction. So, that will be simply cos um, 180 minus capital omega. So, both are going to give you the same result. So, this minus minus dot will become. So, we have cos capital omega. So, minus we will write it in the next line. So, both way it is ok either you do this way or that way. So, uh, let us make it uh, with a minus sign to be convenient because it looks better from this place. So, we will put a minus sign here. So, either way you will get the same result. So, this equal to now 180 minus. So, that we have to make it plus here in this place and then along the o y direction we have the same thing we have to pick up here. So, this is minus r cos omega plus theta here in this case this angle is, is only convenient the angle from this place to this place which is 90 plus capital omega already we have written uh, m prime o y n prime n prime o y this angle 90 plus capital omega. So, this is cos 90 plus capital omega and we summarize it here this will be plus sign with this is plus sign here. plus sign or oh sorry cos 90 plus omega this equal to min, minus minus that becomes plus cos omega plus theta and sin capital omega. So, these are the things we are getting. Okay, so, if you look here in this place I should mark it here r cos theta this term this is appearing with particularly with plus sign. Okay, here o n prime it it appears that along the o x direction we will have component along this direction which will be negative, but that negative sign and also the minus sign is here. So, this minus sign minus sign makes it positive. So, do not get confused here this will be plus sign and here also this comes as a plus sign. Now, once we are done with 
then we have to add all the terms like the O x here, O x here this will be summed up together similarly O y and O y will be summed up together and what is left with the O z. So, we have the O z term which will be written separately. So, once we add it, so we get the components along the x y and z direction of the r vector and therefore, x y z components. So, therefore, x can be written as minus first we take this r cos omega plus theta r cos omega plus theta and then cos capital omega and the other term whether plus or minus whatever it is the other term we have to this is minus sign. So, r sin omega plus theta r sin omega plus theta we are picking up this term. minus r sin omega plus theta and then cos i sin capital omega cos i sin capital omega. So, if we take common as r, so this becomes cos omega plus theta cos capital omega minus cos i times sin capital omega. So, this is x component of the r vector. Similarly, the y component we will write as adding all the is this green one. Okay. So, here r is missing out. So, we will put here r So, r cos omega plus theta sin capital omega r cos omega plus theta r cos sin capital omega this is this one and then o y from this place r sin omega plus theta cos i sin capital uh, cos i cos capital omega cos i and cos capital omega r cos and z equal to here it is written r sin omega plus theta r sin omega plus theta and times sin i and this is. So, these are the three expressions we are getting. Okay. Thereafter, the things are easy to work out. Now, here in this case, if we look, this theta is a variable and uh, what else? R is a variable. Okay. Rest others are just a constant. R will be a function of time. So, therefore, z dot we take this one first. So, z dot this equal to r dot sin omega plus theta sin i and plus 
r times once we differentiate this so this becomes cos omega plus theta sin i and theta dot and then we need to replace this r dot and theta dot by proper quantity okay. so rest other things are just uh, mathematical exercise already we have done uh, all the steps so there is not much remaining in this part okay so what we'll do that uh, we know r equal to l by 1 plus e cos theta okay which equal to a times 1 minus e square divided by 1 plus e cos theta so on the right hand side all the quantities are known at any instant of time therefore this is known okay similarly the quantity r dot we have earlier worked out theta dot is okay the other quantity is theta dot so r square theta dot this quantity we have written as h okay and h is nothing but mu times l under root this equal to mu times a times 1 minus e square l equal to so mu is known to us and all other quantities are known to us therefore h is known to us and this implies that theta dot can be written as mu a times 1 minus e square under root divided by r square so theta dot also becomes known to us r is known to us and r dot we have to write so r dot also we have written earlier again i will write on the next page theta dot is h by r square and therefore that cancels out and we'll get it here as e sin theta h will be there h times e sin theta divided by l r r square cancels out from both the sides so once we have got this uh, in this place again we use the relationship h square equal to mu times l we would like to replace this h so h equal to mu times l under root and therefore this is mu times l under root e sin theta all these things are known to us l is also known because of our previous work so this is mu divided by l under root times e sin theta and mu l equal to a times 1 minus c a square so this whole under root then it comes and then e sin theta so this is your r dot so once we know this quantities so it's a easily uh, once you do the numerical calculation so you just have to program on computer and you can get all these values so we can see that how this uh, z dot is being calculated from z okay. similarly the x y and the uh, x y terms can be written so uh, i will just complete it so x dot we can i will just write it here quickly not 
x equal to r cos r dot cos omega theta plus cos capital omega r dot cos omega plus theta plus cos capital omega. Okay. Let me see I do not have to okay. this and then times the next one we have to differentiate. So, this becomes sin omega plus theta times cos capital omega and theta dot will take it outside minus sin this becomes cos omega plus theta cos psi sin capital omega times theta dot. That means, theta dot we can put here in this place itself rather than putting on the back side or r times theta dot. So, already we know all these values we have worked out and therefore, all these terms can be calculated. Okay. Cos i sin capital omega cos omega plus theta cos omega this is fine. Similarly, y dot this we write as r dot times cos omega plus theta plus sin capital omega and plus sin omega plus theta cos i times cos capital omega as we have written earlier here in this place cos sin here uh, uh, here we have a straight uh, here we have to do the correction this is theta omega plus theta and this is again theta everywhere it is fine. Okay, so, other term will be r times similarly theta dot just like here it is appearing the same way it will appear and we just have to differentiate the corresponding term. So, this will be minus sin omega plus theta once this term is differentiated. So, it will appear like this and theta dot term will put it outside sin capital omega and uh, again here this term is differentiable. So, cos omega plus theta cos i times cos capital omega. So, this is your y dot. So, this completes the derivation this is d this is E and this is F. Okay, so, we are done with it is just a matter of programming and uh, doing all this calculation even on uh, this uh, using calculator it can be worked out provided we have to use all the equations that we have written here. So, everything is known mu will be known to you because this is the planetary gravitational constant 
in the case you are taking two body system. So, mu will be simply g times m 1 plus m 2. Okay, so, we have finished this topic here. Now, uh, we will take up some problems, we will solve some problems whatever we have done in the next lecture. So, thank you very much.